Um, after a such intense game for the champions, um, how is the group and what are your expectations for the game in Putimo? Thank you. Yeah, the group, uh, the player who played were tired and of course we all were disappointed um, Yeah, because we lost an important game at home. So, of course, we already talked about the story of the game that uh, it was... Um, the disappointment was about the result, not really about the performance, because I think we did a lot of things very well regarding tactic, physical, mental part. Um, but we also did um, two mistakes, so we could uh, we gave them the chance to score goals, um, and we missed too many chances. So that's a little bit of a short summary of the game on on Wednesday, and uh, of course the next uh, one two days you you need also to. To deal with it, but then of course it's always our test then to look forward and uh, next uh, match is always uh, next chance to to win uh, win a game again and th of course that's our our goal for tomorrow. So it's not easy to play there. They they won last week in Vitoria, so they um, they are in a better shape now than in, at the beginning of this, uh, the season. But nevertheless, I think we are well prepared. We are recovered and we are looking forward to play a good game tomorrow in uh, Portimonense. How is Antonio Silva? How how is he react to the his expulsion? Yeah, of course he was very disappointed. You know he's a very emotional uh, player. You know how much he loves uh, the club and the team. And um, so um, when he when hap something happens like uh, on Wednesday that he get a very early red card. Um, then of course he is very disappointed because he feels a little bit responsible also then for for the rest of the game. Um, but like I said already on Wednesday, so it was it was not like uh, he did something stupid or uh, undisciplined. So it was a reflex uh, in, in this moment in this situation, and he got um, the red card. So I think after one two days is done again. So he's he's looking forward again, and that's also part of. Um, the process of, of development. So I think to, to have these moments uh, also in his career uh, sometimes is, is helpful. Unfortunately, it was not uh, at the end that we could win the game. So then, of course, it's always better. But I think he's uh, strong enough. And uh, from his uh, mentality, he's a, he's a player who can deal with this and who, who look forward and who can uh, nevertheless perform um, directly on a top level again. Mr. Schmidt, uh, Joana Pires, CV, CNN in Portugal. I would like to ask you about uh, um, Trubin. He didn't have um, an easy uh, match uh, last Wednesday, as you said. Um, are you afraid that um, he will might feel the pressure of this moment, especially um, looking for the next matches of uh, Benfica, like Futebol Clube do Porto and Inter? No, I'm not afraid. Uh, so I think that's like I said before, also this is the process also for him for, for development. Huh? So I think we all have pressure here at Benfica because the goals of Benfica are very high. So we have to perform, we have to win, we have to go for prizes. So that's always our um, our pressure, our uh, our task. And it's the same for him, for the goalkeepers and also, also for the strikers, for everybody. Huh? So I think we have to show up and my players, in my opinion, they're doing very well. and. So we know that we haven't uh, bought a goalkeeper who is 35 years old and has already a lot of experience. He's a very talented uh, young goalkeeper with uh, 22 years. Uh, he already had some experience um, with, uh, with Schachter, with the Ukraine, uh, Ukraine national team. But of course, to change the club and to play for, for a club like, like Benfica is a new situation. That is not, of course, the best is he performs from the start on top, top level, no mistakes, big saves and a lot of clean sheets makes it easier. In this situation, um, we have uh, um, yeah, the, the, the story of the game on, on Wednesday, but like I said already on Wednesday, so that's part of it. So you have to accept, you have to look forward, you have to be focused again and you have to show up uh, in the next game with, with confidence. So that's uh, the task and that's what a professional football player doesn't matter on which position has to do. Hi, Mr. Schmidt. Hi. Philippe Ferreira, CM, CMTV. Uh, Artur Cabral arrived one month ago. He was uh, two times uh, your choice for the starting team. And, but since the, the return of the, the pause of the national teams, he 
only played a few, few minutes. Mm -hmm. What's happening with him? And do you think he is uh, feeling the pressure to play uh, to a, uh, in a big club like Benfica? I would not say that this is the pressure. So I think uh, um, he came uh, after the preseason in the middle of the season because we, we sold uh, Gonzalo. Um, and then I tried, of course, to give him very quick also the chance to show up, to get used to the players. And sometimes it's, it, it works uh, very quick and everything is fine. He scores and then he get the confidence and he get used to the, to the tactic, to the teammates. So um, we tried that at the beginning. So, but uh, of course, it was not like he had this kind of start. So and then, of course, I have to make always decisions regarding the, the shape and the, 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 um, the situation of the, of the players up front. So we have three uh, strikers up front with Arthur, with Peter Musa and with, uh, with Kasper. And um, yeah, I think Peter Musa um, did it uh, very well in the Super Cup. Then he got the chance in Boa Vista, he got the red card. So I gave him a chance again and um, Peter developed a lot so he's not, of course he has a big advantage because he's already one year uh, at Benfica he knows what what he has to do uh, to do on the pitch is not only scoring goals is also work hard being part of the pressing being um, available between the lines to have a feeling also for the teammates around him so um, that's why my decision was then more for Peter than for for Kasper and uh, for Arthur so that's at the moment uh, the the situation in my opinion, Peter is doing very well. So even on Wednesday, um, I think he played a very good game. Of course, um, a little bit unlucky in the in the finishing. Um, actually, is a, a strength of him. But how he is part of the game, how he is um, also involved in a lot of situations with the ball and against the ball, I think that's what we expect from a striker uh, up front at Benfica. So it's not easy to play in our system, in our tactical behavior, and sometimes you need a little bit to, uh, to adjust, and that is exactly the situation of Arthur. So he's working hard in the, in the training, and uh, so now he has to wait a little bit. It's always the same. You get the chance if you are not playing on top level, other players are better, then you have to curl up again, and you have to wait a little bit. And, He's um, at the moment in this situation, he's doing well in training, he's working hard and for sure he will, will score a lot of goals for Benfica. But at the moment, uh, my, chooses, my choices, uh, the last matches were, were for Peter. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's all, all, only cramp, only cramp. Uh, do you think is the, this game is uh, crucial, um, knowing the, the result in the Champions um, and uh, knowing that the, in the next week um, Benfica will play with Porto? Yeah, basically, uh, all our games are crucial, but I know what you mean. So always after a defeat, the next match is uh, more important than 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 normal because uh, yeah, you want to you want to win again. You want to have. Uh, also, the, the the feeling of winning games, uh, of the of the positive um, um, yeah vibe, and so that's our task now. So I think we are ready uh, for that, and uh, I think we showed in the past a lot of times that we are also can can manage these situations and uh, be very focused then of the of the upcoming match. Hello, Mr. Roger Schmidt, Rafael Soares Record. A um, few games ago, you showed some some concerns about uh, Neres' physical management. Um, now, David Neres, um, a few weeks have passed, and, and Neres still haven't started yet. Um, is he incompatible with Di Maria in the starting eleven? Yeah, not only with Angel. So I think <coughs> up front we try to find always the best balance, but uh, of course it's obviously that Angel and uh, Rafa in a, are at the moment in a, in a great uh, shape, so they are doing very well uh, with the ball, scoring goals, giving assists, uh, also working very hard uh, against the ball, being part of the, of the pressing uh, situation, so they are doing very well. And then of course um, we always try to have the right balance in total in the team, to be not too offensive, not too defensive, so to have everything on the pitch. Um, so that's at the moment uh, the situation and then I always have to make decisions what is the best setup for each uh, single game and 
Um, I think that's the situation where what I explained with Artur or with, with other players on each single position. Sometimes if the players in front of you are doing very well, then sometimes you need some patience. And that's, that's the situation with David as, uh, as well. So I, can, I think physical-wise he's, he's good again, so he has no complaints anymore. So um, I think he will, he will play in the upcoming weeks uh, for sure a lot of games. Mr. Schmidt, for Anurba and Nabola. I would like to ask you about Alexander Ba. Um, last year he had a, a real competitor for competitor for the for the first place. Now he doesn't have. Um, it seems he's not in his top level, top shape. I would like to ask you: Is that only a, a physical situation, or is something else? Or, or sometimes it, some players need a real competition, someone uh, real in his back. Uh, saying I, I, I want to play if you're not too well. Yeah, I think concurrence is always good, but he has. So I think we have also other options on the on this position, and I see it a little bit different. So in my opinion, Alex is in a very good shape. So he's doing very well. Even he did the mistake for the for the one zero. I think he could be a little bit smarter because, in my opinion, if he goes down, then it's a, it's a clear foul. But he stayed on his feet and he missed a little bit the pass back to the to the goalkeeper. Um, but uh, um, otherwise, in my opinion, um, Alex is doing very well, like the whole team. So, in my opinion. If you if you um, are not looking for the result on uh, on Wednesday, if you see how we played in the Champions League match with ten players, then it is only possible to play this kind of football to dominate the game, to create chance, chances football-wise, to give the opponent not really a lot of moments. Also in the attacking, um, then it's only possible if all the players are doing very well on the pitch, and that's also what is Alex doing. Uh, so I think. To get a little bit, sometimes more the reward for uh, for his um, effort, also in the attacking. I think he played some very good crosses, also where we could score uh, core goals. Um, we missed these chances, and then sometimes um, yeah, you you also not really um, uh, notice the uh, the the good moments of the players because everybody is a little bit focused also on then on of course on uh, on goals. Uh, but in my opinion, um, Alex is back in a very good um, shape, so I've, I've uh, at the moment no, no complaints about that.